I start with question number 2 of exercise 2.4. So in this, it is given that the zeros of cubic polynomial x cube minus 6x square plus 3x plus 10 are of the form of a, a plus b, a plus 2 for some real numbers a and b. Find the values of a and b as well as the zeros of the given polynomial. So we are given with fx first. So we will write fx as x cube minus 6x square plus 3x plus 10. So this is my fx. Now we know that cubic polynomial is of the form of a dash x cube plus b dash x square plus c dash x plus d dash. So in this I am taking a dash b dash c dash d dash. Why? Because here we are given with the zeros as a a plus b and a plus 2b. So therefore I am taking another variables here that is in the form of dash. So a dash in this case is 1 when you compare equation number 1 and 2. So when we compare a dash x cube with 1 x cube we get a dash as 1. My b dash will be minus 6. c will be 3. c dash will be 3 and d dash will be 10. Now we need to find the value for a and b. So now we know that we have the first sum of zeros as alpha plus beta plus gamma equals minus b by minus b over a. So alpha in this case is given as a. So I will put the value of alpha as a here and beta as a plus b and gamma as a plus 2b and it equals minus b dash is minus 6 a dash is 1 so it will be positive 6 minus minus gets cancelled so it will be a positive 6 so here you can see we get 3a plus 3b equals 6 now if i reduce this i will get 3 common from the left hand side so it will be 3 a plus b equals 6. Now in this case what we can do is we can cancel out 3 and 6. So it will be 2 here. So it makes a plus b equals 2. Now we can use another sum. Uh, it, it is known to be as sum of uh, sorry it will be product of zeros at a time like alpha dot beta beta dot gamma plus gamma dot alpha so it equals minus plus c dash over a dash so in this case we have the value of alpha alpha is a beta is a plus b and beta is again a plus b gamma is a plus 2b and gamma again is a plus 2b then alpha is a and c dash here, here is 3 and a is a dash is 1 so when we solve the left hand side we get the first term as a square plus a b the second term as a square then a with 2b so 2 a b then b with a so it will be a b plus 2 b square plus a square plus 2 a b equals 3. Now we need to reduce the left hand side. So it can be written as 3 a square plus a b plus 2 a b 3 a b plus 4 a b plus 6 a b and 2b square it equals 3 the first equation we get as a plus b equals 2 and the second equation as 3a square plus 6ab plus 2b square equal 3 now from the equation a what we can get is we can get the value of b that will be 2 minus a we can get the value of b in terms of a so I will put the value of b into equation b. 
so it will be 3a square as it is, 6a as it is, b will be replaced by 2 minus a, 2 b again replaced by 2 minus a whole square equal 3. Now on the left hand side we have 3a square my plus 12a expanding brackets minus 6a square plus 2. Now we need to open 2 minus a square so it will be 4 plus a square minus 4a equals 3. Now we get the solution as 3a square plus 12a minus 6a square plus 8 plus 2a square minus 8a equals 3. Now we get the solution, the final answer as 3a square minus 6a square. It will be minus 3, minus 3 plus 2. So minus 3. plus 2 will be minus a square and again the value for a it will be plus 4a and plus 8 equals 3. Now I will bring 3 to the left hand side so it will be minus a square plus 4a plus 5 equals 0. So this is we get from this equation. Now what we can see here is that this is in the form of quadratic equation. Now if we have a quadratic equation what we need to do is we need to split the middle term. So we will write 5 and will make the factors of it as 5 and 1. So it will be minus a square plus 5a minus a plus 5 equals 0. Now what we can take common here is is minus a so we are left with my a minus 5 and minus 1 a minus 5 equals 0 so now we have two factors here that is minus a minus 1 equals 0 and a minus 5 equals 0 so one factor is a equals 5 and another factor will be a equals minus 1 so now we get the value of a as minus 1 and a as 5. So what we need to do is we need to find the value of b. So we have b value as 2 minus a. From equation number a we get b as 2 minus a. So when a is minus 1 b value will be 2 minus minus 1. So it will be 3. So if a is 5 then my b value will be 2 minus 5 that will be minus 3. So we get two values here. Now what we need to see is, if, is here is so we will be getting two values here that will be in the form of a and b. So we remember that we have zeros in the form of a, a plus b, a plus 2b. So we will be putting the value of a and b here. So if we have a as minus 1, b as 3, then my zeros will be a as minus 1 comma minus 1 plus 3 as 2 minus 1 plus 2 into 3 it will be 5 here. So we have 3 zeros as minus 1, 2 and 5. Now let's do for the another case. So if my a is 5 and my b is minus 3 then the value for first one will be 5 and for the another one it will be 5 minus 3 it will be 2 and for the last one 5 plus 2 into minus 3 it will be minus 1. So you can see that zeros in both cases are 2 minus 1 and 5. So therefore we can say that they satisfy the equation and you can write in the end that zeros in both cases are beta as 2 
gamma as minus 1, alpha as 5. So that's your answer for question number 2. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.